I don't work for Meaner, Meaner, Miner, Hydrologic, however you're supposed to say the company name. I just happened to buy this particular multi-zone timer. Figured I'd do a bit of an unboxing and install video and a bit of a review. Hope you find the information helpful, useful, and informative. Time for a bit of Kung Fu maintenance. Country maintenance. Well, so setting up different zones on the drip system. Kind of the tricky, tricky part about the drip systems is uh, you're going to have to split different zones uh, for different areas because you know depending on your water pressure and everything else. Now, I've been splitting mine off and uh, had a couple deals with the uh, sprinklers, which I showed in a few different videos. Uh, where I can only run one sprinkler. What I'm going to be doing is splitting off to another zone so that I can add a sprinkler in the corner over there to water that area better. And, uh, but, you know, it, it doesn't take too long before you got kind of a mess here. And uh, what I want to show you today was a pretty cool solution for this, um, which I'm going to be trying out, which is this HydroLogic uh, controller. It allows you to put four uh, zeal, deals on one rather than having four different, you know, so I can eliminate some or I could just add zones. And I actually need to add one zone to get them to the left side uh, of my house and then uh, I need to split off. I've got the whole right side and this island portion of these uh, wildflowers and trees and stuff on one zone. So I'm going to separate that side from the right side of the house just by running one line going this way and then split it right there where the other sprinkler is and anyway the way I'm going to be able to do that is going to recover some of these timers and go with the uh, four port timer so anyway that's what I'm doing today uh, testing out this new uh, Meaner HydroLogic not sure how you're supposed to pronounce it maybe Meaner not sure but anyway and see how this works out. Hopefully I can fit it in somehow because I'm saying it gets pretty pretty tricky in here. So got all kinds of stuff going on. Let's see how it goes. Alright, half the fun on these things is, is uh, opening the package. I guess they make them hard to open to uh, deter thieves. So that's a good thing. Breaking anything. Okay. Here's the timer. Kind of interesting. Top portion. And bottom portion. Yep, half the fun is getting it out of the box. Alright. Looks like a pretty cool deal. It's got this uh, wire that separates it to run to the Deal. And it looks like we can rotate this and then we can set our timer portion where we want it so it allows a bit of adaptation so that's pretty cool I like that and then we can run the deal right into here now I don't want to set it in yet in that I need to add the batteries and uh, get it going I was curious how that was going to work out okay and then I'm going to need to pick uh, which zone I'm going to pull out and replace. And 
probably going to go with this one here in the front. And that'll allow me at least to get these two and line them up without uh, too much too much hassle. And maybe you can actually get all four of these, so that'll be pretty cool. Okay. So I've got a bunch of wool type ports, which is going to help make this a little bit easier in that I can turn things off and, and modify it. I'm going to grab some channel locks and get it going. Okay, got my channel locks and an adjustable wrench. And pliers here. So I need to figure out. There we go, how to turn this one off. There we go, and that's off. And then I can undo it here. Might not have been a bad idea to figure out where that one was going first. But uh, I'm pretty sure this one goes up to the top of my hill there. You might remember that video where I had a run, showed how to run water. I'll, I'll test this one here and I'll know. Either this one, I think this one goes to this portion, yep. And then this one goes up to the top of the hill. So I cancel the watering there. Okay. And um, I'm going to have to pick how I designate each zone. So I think this is probably going to be zone four. This will probably be zone three up at the top of the hill. Um, might do zone one on the right hand side. And then zone two can be my sprinklers. Yeah. So that'll be pretty cool. And then I can leave these other ones hooked up and ready to go as I'm again going to be modifying uh, the zones a bit. So it's always a little bit to work out. But it's a good idea to write these things down too because again it's, it's uh, good to keep a little garden journal going to uh, map things out a bit and figure it out better. But yeah, it's up to you how you do it. Okay. I'm going to undo this one here. I think I'm going to turn this one off as well. And don't forget to turn it back on. I actually did for about three days. And the tricky part is going to be being able to hook everything up here. Yeah, because of everything that's going on. how we're going to line up here. Oh boy, versus fitting in there, I'm probably going to have to pull different stuff off. And let's see, that is definitely the trickiest part. It's going to be being able to fit things in. But it's nice in that it gives us some options here because you can actually turn it this way even. And then I can hook it up here and it wouldn't even matter. You go this way and it's a done deal. And you can mount it here. That's what's pretty cool about this. And then, then I can always manually turn them on uh, sideways. So 
you know, it just depends on what you want to do. It gives some options. You can put it in like so. In fact, I might even do it that way. Um, just to simplify things here. go like so. Because I'm going to be adding other zones anyway. So I think this makes sense for me. Now your situation may be quite different. Um, one thing is you want to make sure that you're your gasket is in there and your screen is in there. So that's what I'm doing here. And before I get too far, I'll just make sure that my timer is going to work out good there. Which it is. And that the plug will reach through here. So I can go ahead and well, I would plug it in, but I need to put the batteries in, so I'm not going to plug it in yet, but that's going to work out good for me. Again, everything's got to be custom to your own setup, but just cool that, that it uh, has the ability to customize it, to be able to turn it a few different ways. It's definitely a nice feature. So I know I'm going to be adding some zones uh, in the near future. And um, so rather than just taking everything out, I'm going to modify it according to that. OK. Now I'm going to mimic my old timers. And uh, I had everything set to. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday via the zone rules regulations. But now uh, the zone, the, uh, they've taken away the drought rules because so, we don't have a drought anymore, which is good. And they may bring it back. You just never know. So good idea to be ready for anything. But anyway, I'm going to grab my batteries here. Got two double A's. Ah, shoot. I wanted to recover my timer my times that were programmed. Let's see if I can get it back. Yep, it didn't erase it. So it seems like it has a temporary battery. So I got lucky there. So um, I want to see what my start times are and mimic that. So this one I've got it at 3.30 a.m. And then the second one, oops, try that again. Got it at 3.30 a.m. Oops, don't want to change that. And 12.45 a.m. So I've got 12.45 and 3.30 a.m. Okay, and right now I have it going for um, like 15 minutes on each one. So I can mimic that on my new timer. Or I got 18 minutes uh, for each one, actually. So I can check here, set duration, 18 minutes. So I've got 18 minutes for each one. And now I can set it for every day if I want to. You know, it depends on what you got going and what your area is like. My area is very hot and very windy. So... Mine's definitely going to probably be different than most of yours would be. But uh, it depends what you're growing and what you got going. So anyway, 12.45 and 3.30 a.m. on this one. So now I'm going to pull my battery out. And I'm going to use, reuse my batteries. And then I can repurpose this timer for something else. 
so I'm pretty glad about that. So we'll pull it out. Here's our batteries. Just two double A's just like so. There we go. And now we can pull off this fake display that it came with. And it's showing today. So we want to scroll over. Today is actually Saturday. So now I scroll to Saturday. And the time is 6.28 p.m. So I'm going to go... Oops. Well, it's got a whole different... Uh, I don't want to do that. Okay. Let's go back. I didn't read the directions or anything, so I'm just kind of seeing how easy this is to figure out. Um, I need to change the time, so... We need to set time. There we go. Set time, and then... Okay, back to today's Saturday. Hit OK. And there we go. Set time. Good. And it's about 6.30 p.m., so going, going back in time. And there we go. Now I'll bring it up to where we're at. 6.29. Okay. Okay. Saturday, 6.29 p.m. Okay, so we're good there. Now, um, we're going to select our zone. So, this one I'm going to be setting... Oops. Okay. Okay, start zone 1 off. Okay. Oh, I don't want zone one though. Okay. I'm gonna go with zone two, three, four. There we go. So zone three. We're gonna go on at twelve forty-five a.m. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. Okay, hit the set. And how many minutes? We're going to go, I'm going to put it at 18 minutes. I'm just matching what I had. And I may be customizing this. I'm in the middle of changing seasons going into the hot, hot summer. So it's, uh, you know, depends what you want. So, so I'll hit OK. Now I'll hit the triangle button. Okay, and the days I want it every day. So, I am going to scroll over, got every day, one every day, I'm going to go uh, twice a day, uh oh, go OK, hit the button, OK. So we're on zone three, we're going 18 minutes every two day, every second day, no, every one day, every 24 hours, every 12 hours. Oh, it doesn't let me set the time exactly. Hmm. So it's giving me 18 minutes And I might as well go every 12 hours at that point. Okay. You know, again, that part is up to you. Anyway, I've got every day on. So. We're in at 12.45 every day. Every 12 hours for 18 minutes. 
So it's going to go at 1245 uh, at night and it's going to go at 1245 during the day. So I'm okay with that. I would have liked the program. What I liked about this one was you can program the actual times. So when the drought was going on, that was definitely critical. And in that situation, I might up my time a little bit or not. You know, maybe 18 minutes is probably fine actually for every 12 hours. But uh, during the drought, it had to be at night. And so it's nice to be able to program the actual time. But anyway, so now I got zone three set up and I'm all set there. And I'm probably going to be setting my sprinkler, which right now I have going, um, uh, I'm in the state of change, but anyway, I'll probably be setting the sprinkler to this one because I really don't like that. That timer um, didn't allow me as much customization. Um, but anyway, just kind of showing you the deal here. I don't want to bog you guys down with all the unnecessary details just kind of give you the general idea I said okay so moving back here we go on our deal this just plugs in it's got a little notch where it's able to plug into the deal and then we can slide it onto the post and I just gotta line that up nice and easy there we go now it's in and uh, one key point is not to forget to turn the water back on so as well turn as the water back on any other zones you turned off which of course is gonna want to be stubborn and difficult and all that fun stuff so I got to get up in there to do that get reach through with something and push it up There we go. Okay, so water's back on. So we can hear it fill in. And I can just turn it, turn one of them to manual. So we can see we've got our water on. Now my right side is on at the moment, so it's watering. And uh, now I can go ahead and hook up that hose deal to the number three port that we programmed as long as it'll reach and that's a little bit of a problem <laughs> so I got a little bit to work out here okay Okay, I can make it reach just by making it stretch. Add it on by hand there. We tighten this one back up. And I'm all set there. And this I'm just going to hand tighten and then test it. Okay, now I'll move it to manual and it won't, uh, just to make sure we're not leaking or anything. We've got a little bit of leaking here. So Good, tighten that up. Yep, there it is. Okay, I'll turn the water back off. Yeah, we're good to go there. Now I can add my other zones or modify things. Like I was saying, I'm probably gonna move this one here. And uh, that just gives me a lot of different options. But that's the Hydrologic Mainer Timer. There's four port timer. Kind of cool, it's gonna free me up to make the different zones that I need to make and uh, help me work this thing out. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Kung Fu Maintenance, over and out. Oh, one other cool thing I notice is it tells me the percentage of battery life that's left in both batteries. That's kind of a neat feature. It uses an LCD screen, so it's not going to be using up too much energy, but uh, definitely I think that's a nice feature to tell you the battery life. Because sometimes you, if you don't know, 
you know, but once it gets down to like 10% or so, I change out the batteries and that way I don't lose a bunch of plants because uh, if the battery died or something. Uh, this one actually wants to use it. This one uses the 9 volt battery and the battery died and I didn't know it. No nope. fun. <laughs> What are you going to do? It seems like it would be a pretty cool deal. Again, I would like to be able to set the times of each uh, deal a little bit more, a little bit more customized, but it's enough to work with and, and it's nice just having uh, four zones on one deal. A pretty cool deal. These ones were about 30 bucks. This one was about 55 bucks. You know, again, it depends where you get them and everything, plus tax and all that. So, uh, But again, it, it just depends on the, what you got going on. and. Uh, Four of them, four of these would have cost me 120 bucks. So, not too bad. 55 bucks, you know, it's about half the price. So, it's kind of a good deal. And, uh, can make things a little less chaotic, in theory. Anyway, thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Over and out. Okay, so just to sum up uh, the meaner multi port, uh, multi zone hydrologic timer, what I thought of it. Um, it's pretty cool in that you can put four on one. Um, what I liked about it is you can s isolate different days and so you can set which days so that part's good. And then you can set the times uh, t one time that it comes on and then from there you're either just able to set it once per day or once every 12 hours or once every eight hours. But I would have liked to be able to set individual times, so that was a little bit of a flaw, but it's still pretty good in that you can at least set each day so you can fit within drought regulations if your area has drought regulations. Uh, so that part was pretty cool. Um, I really like that you only have one timer. Um, programming was pretty easy. Uh, a little bit tricky sometimes to exit it once you're finishing programming. Um, so that side was pretty cool. Water pressure was really good. I didn't see any diminished water pressure or anything on uh, any of my zones. Uh, install was really simple and straightforward. Uh, programming, S simple and straightforward except for what I mentioned, uh, a little bit tricky to uh, finish it off, uh, but not impossible. Uh, I was able to do it even without reading the instructions and uh, um, so that was pretty cool. Uh, another cool thing is there you can get an optional uh, moisture sensor that uh, will automatically turn it off if there's too much rain or if the if the if the uh, ground is too wet, and so that's a pretty cool feature. This one cost me about fifty five dollars in tax. Uh, the moisture sensor I saw was uh, about twenty dollars plus tax. Of course, those prices will change depending on your area and everything else, but. Uh, that was pretty cool because again some drought regulations require you to not have uh, water on 48 hours after a measurable rain event um, so it's kind of nice that you can automate things and also that can keep your lawn nice and healthy thanks for watching read you can get it on Amazon as an ebook for $2.99 or you can get it other places online as a regular book but I think you'll enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Over now.